We, what, what drives us is it gives us a destination. So if there's an event, I'm, I'll find any event. So this happens to be the solar eclipse. So I'll say, let's go make a plan, a trip for this event. And then our whole vacation encompasses that one event. So this eclipse is just a four minute shot in a 10 day vacation. But the amount of people that we meet and the amount of uh, interview, well, not interviews, but uh, friends and we meet new friends, we meet new acquaintances, I gain new experiences. previously traveled to follow the eclipse. The last time we went was in South Carolina, and we went to South Carolina to capture the eclipse, to photograph the eclipse. I photograph lunar eclipse, so we always try and follow uh, big events, and this one just happened to be both the balloon festival and also the solar eclipse, so we're going to get two, and the weather's been great, and the solar eclipse is going to be amazing. So I'm looking forward to both capturing the solar eclipse and the venue and with the, with the balloons, so getting like a wide angle and also getting the ring of, ring of fire. So the, the uh, way to see the eclipse with uh, uh, burning your eyeballs out is you take a pair of binoculars or a monocular you can use. If you have binoculars, you cover up one of the lenses and you put it, shine it, you stabilize it with a tripod or a clamp or something so it doesn't shake. Aim it to the sun on a piece of white paper and you can focus it using your binocular focus and you can really get a crystal clear image of what's happening up with the sun and as the moon goes by. So eclipses happen somewhere on the Earth around every 18 months. So in some ways you tell me it's not that rare. However, in one particular location on Earth, it's normally 375 years between eclipses. So it's rare that a person gets to experience it in their lifetime in their specific location. So that's what's rare about it. Um, and it's also the fact that nowhere else in the solar system do you get these types of eclipses. You get uh, much smaller eclipses and you know their moons like on Mars will pass in, in between Mars in the sun, but it will never give you this ring of fire um, or the total eclipse later this year or later next year. Um, the eclipse path this time, it, and, and again, this is a special time that this is the path that it will take. Um, it will take time because you're, you're actually doing this very celestial dance between the moon and the earth and the sun and the alignment. Um, so it, that's how it takes 375 years to find the next alignment um, is just that, uh, that specific movement as to where they all are. The moon has to be at its farthest distance. The, earth, the part of the earth you're on has to be pointing towards the sun at that point in time um, in order to get this kind of perfect alignment.